you know, speaking of the Truman Capote thing, is there anyone back from that, you know, your early days, late 70s, 80s, who was like the most wild man, wild woman? Eve Babbitt, of course, was fairly wild. Uh, who, who was just yeah. sort of the, the wildest out there? That's easy. Hunter Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Did you ever have a night out with him? I had a couple nights out with Hunter, yeah, and uh, it almost killed me. But <laughs> yeah, Hunter, Hunter was... Hunter was the wildest badass that there was, and um, but you know between the drinking and the cocaine and um, and psychedelics as well, right? And psychedelic, yeah. I mean he he just did everything, and unfortunately, you know, I mean it was not a happy ending. Um, yeah. Uh, he I mean, didn't offer you cocaine in in the back room. Oh yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. And, and he well, he, actually, we, we were was both he interested in you as well. We were no. Not that Hunter's way. Hunter's totally straight, okay. but uh, he was totally straight. But but Hunter, um, we were both being inducted into the Library Lions uh, um, pantheon about 1987 or so, and Hunter, um, I just happened to go back to the men's room, which is very far from the dining room, uh, when Hunter was there, and he just had this hockey puck size uh, container like full of cocaine, and he just. Here you go. <laughs> offered it to me, and, uh, and it was it was obviously really strong because I re- I remember you know we got we got our picture taken like half an hour later, and I'm just trying to like <laughs> I'm trying to compose my face in such a way that it's not going to be entirely obvious that I'm just wired out of my brains, you know. <laughs> um, so what what how is you know some people you know they yeah, have that was, long pinky he fingernail. How did he have a straw? What would he? Do? How does it go out from the container into the nose? He, yeah, he had like a silver spoon around his neck. <laughs> That he wore around his neck. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Easy access. Go Hunter. <laughs> Good for him. He, great writer. Yeah. He, no, he, he wrote on cocaine. He wrote. He wrote some wonderful things. I, I think he wrote on everything. You know. I mean. <laughs> I mean. Hunter. I think is a kind of the exception that proves the rule that, you know, generally speaking, writing on alcohol, writing on drugs is is not very productive. And you're impaired. But you are literally impaired. impaired. Yeah. <laughs> but Hunter. Hunter seems to have done it. Yeah. Um. And and but. But I, I don't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so the lightning round. A oh, lightning round, okay. 